function are higher? Is that a possibility? Is that a good awkward laugh? Did I Google that? <laughs> <laughs> nervous? Nervous laugh. There we go. All right. So All right, let's keep it moving. Y'all gonna... can play bingo at home. We're going to get into this thing. All righty. Hold on. Let me make it so I can see chat. There we go. Cool. All righty. So uh, it's very exciting to be here. I think uh, overall this is our first stream uh, since launch. It is. Uh, and uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a great time this last kind of week. Um, I think looking at the responses from players has been awesome. In fact, I just gave a presentation to all of Bioware uh, talking about Knights of the Eternal Throne. That was mm -hmm. really fun to get up there and show lots of the quotes our players have given us um, about, you know, specifically the story, because the first week that's what most people have been doing, playing through the story. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've seen some great stuff. What, what are some yeah, of the it's, it's really cool for us to, you know, I, you know, I'm on Twitter, so I get a lot of messages there with people with their feedback, stuff they liked, stuff they didn't like. Uh, we are always, you know, going through the forums, going on to Reddit, looking around Facebook. You know, we really look for any feedback we can get anywhere on the internet we can find it. So, uh, you know, this first week especially, it's been a lot of fun seeing people react to the story, reacting to getting to kill particular characters, yep. maybe all the characters. <laughs> can we talk? Can we talk spoilers now? Is that is that legit? Oh god! Just spoiler alert it. Can we ask? Let, let, let's ask. Let's ask let's chat. Ask, ask chat. We're uh, gonna keep going. Y'all tell us if it's cool to, to spoilers. Spoil. Yes or no? Yes or no to spoilers. <laughs> Right. Uh, in the meantime, what are we going to talk about today, other than spoilers? Yeah, so our topics for the day are the community topics, and I guess the spoiler for that is mainly centered around Galactic Command. So we're going to mm -hmm. address some of the things we've been hearing, uh, some of our plans to address those issues. Um, we're going to show you some cool stuff on the cartel market, do a little bit of some giveaway action like we like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, there's quite a lot of stuff happening in-game with events, um, with Life Day, five-year anniversary, things like that. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about we said, hey, after Kotet ships, we have this renewed focus on repeatable multiplayer content. Uh, what are some of the things kind of happening soon in, in SOTOR in the kind of January, February timeframe? And then we'll do our classic wrap up. Cool. Uh, so I saw a, lot, a big mix of yes and no. So I'm wondering, I feel like that means a no. I feel like you can do a couple light spoilers. All right. Like what, what is your favorite moment that you've seen players respond to that's a light spoiler? Uh, having the option to kill Koth. <laughs> yes. Not going to say I... how it happens. It is a choice you get to make, and people seem to enjoy making it. I believe the forum thread is entitled, Thank You for Making My Dreams Come True. <laughs> uh... You're all horrible people, but I love that you play our game because we're, we're in good company. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So let's get into topics. Cool. So let's talk about Galactic Command first. Like In general, yeah. I think there are three things I want to say. There's a few changes we've made already since the game went live. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff coming out on Tuesday, and then there's the, hey, what are we doing in the future? So I think, Charles, you got yeah, to talk about that. Yeah, I'll that. dive right in. So of course, you know, looking in chat, looking in everywhere we've seen online, obviously a ton of feedback on Galactic Command, a lot of requests for changes, a lot of feedback on things people like and a lot of things people don't like. Um, we want to be really open to that. We want to be really flexible. I think mm -hmm. we've been saying even before launch, you know, this is what we think is going to be really cool, but ultimately, y'all are our players, y'all are the fans, we build the game for y'all. So we're going to be really open to making changes, uh, tweaks, doing whatever we can to make this the coolest system it can be, because mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, we want it to be uh, awesome and fun for y'all. So uh, to that end, you know, we've made a few changes on live already. Uh, this was mostly to address some exploits, um, although in one case it was more just to fix kind of how we An wanted to. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't. We don't consider it an exploit, but uh, you know, farming uh, gold uh, mobs in uh, Tatooine and other places was just vastly more uh, efficient than other activities. We don't really consider that an intended you know, way to use the system only because it's not very fun. Uh, we've got a lot better things you can do in the Old Republic uh, and that are a lot more interesting. So uh, we brought the rewards down for that uh, already. Um, we're actually gonna bump that back up just a little bit, uh, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, but uh, we really wanted to encourage people to do other more fun activities and so that leads us to 501 changes. Which uh, is coming Tuesday. Yeah, so that's just next Tuesday. Uh, we are upping the rewards for uprisings and flashpoints uh, significantly, uh, especially in the case of uprisings, uh, story uprisings. I want to say it's somewhere in the 50% range. Tate can confirm. Uh, we're going to have patch notes that explain it. Yep. Veteran uprisings are huge. It's up like 80-something percent uh, for the quest reward for those. Yep. You know, Trying to make those a little more rewarding, make them feel more efficient, kind of put them on par with uh, PvP, which we think is in a good place right now. People seem to feel like that one uh, pays And that's off the important thing. Rate. We don't want to nerf PvP down. Yeah. We figure a better idea is let's bring their other stuff up to, exactly. to feel as rewarding. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, as part of that change, also, you know, pushing the gold mobs back up to two points from one point. 
Obviously, that's still a small raise. We may raise them up a little more in the future, may not. You know, we're going to see how things pan out. Uh, again, we want to be really responsive. We want to see what you guys think and see how things are leveling as you play. Uh, and this is just the beginning. You know, we may make more changes going down the road if we find that other activities aren't hitting kind of the balance where we want them to be. Uh, but in general, that's the goal. We want to make things feel uh, feel good, make them feel fast. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm just realizing I should read the chat maybe while you talk the yeah, whole time. Yeah, go for it. I'm scared of missing all the questions <laughs> unless, Tate, you can uh, ping us on the other channel questions that you see. Uh, I just without I just realized, oh my God, Musco's one of his primary jobs is to read all the chat and get all the questions, and that's what he gets for letting us cool. fly solo. So then, uh, but yeah, that's okay. So I think one of the things I see in there a lot uh, will be coming in the upcoming changes. Um, you know, I think probably. Probably aside from you know activities other than PvP feeling like they're not balanced uh, up to it in terms of how fast you're getting command experience, uh, one of the big feedback points we've seen a lot is you know feeling like there are actually you know concrete goals in the Galactic Command system, feeling like you can chase that particular piece of gear or that there's something that you're working towards specifically uh, that you can achieve and feel good about. So uh, you know we've really seen that feedback a lot. It's something we take really seriously on the team. Uh, and it's something we've already been uh, been working internally on, uh, you know, looking at what the best solution to that is. Uh, it's something, you know, we don't have anything specific to announce on it, but I just want you all to know that, you know, your voices are heard. Uh, this is something we take really, really seriously. We're going to be working to address it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, don't have a time frame yet, but it's, it's in the progress. So uh, we'll let you know as soon as we have something specific on that. Uh, but well noted. Thank you for pointing it out. Um, so, sir, has... Reading and listening, apparently, I'm not very good at both. <laughs> we really uh, need three people. A bunch, <laughs> three people. Uh, a bunch of the questions in chat are around, hey, what about alts? Like, mm -hmm. Oh, um, yes. Is there anything that yeah. you're going to do around yeah, that's, uh, making that's... it? So if I like playing alts of characters, it's a bit, mm -hmm. bit easier the second, third time around. Yeah, so uh, again, nothing specific yet because we're still uh, working out the details of how they'll work. But you know, looking into things for legacy or you know perks, things like that, that we can do uh, in the upcoming changes uh, in the next couple months to uh, make this a little more friendly to alts, make this a little more friendly uh, as you move through the system to kind of move uh, things over to your alts, make it more fun for your legacy as a whole. Uh, so again, nothing specific yet to, to say on that, but uh, it's something we're working hard on and uh, at the forefront of our minds. Another question was around, hey, make operations be better, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the interesting thing on the operations stuff is twofold. Uh, one, like I think we acknowledge there's a little bit of an issue with risk reward mm -hmm. in that like right now on lower gear, um, you know, uh, if you end up wiping a lot, it becomes an inefficient way. So we've right. talked all about that. Again, to Charles's point, don't have an answer yet. We're just trying to be open and transparent that like we're having this conversation and, and we think there's something to do there. And mm -hmm. so we're gonna mm -hmm. uh, work that out as soon as we can and communicate as soon as we can. Um, but also, you know, as you get more geared, that kind of changes. Now it becomes more efficient because you can do it faster. So kind of our first step was, hey, well, if we increase things like uprisings, that's a better gateway. You can mm -hmm. get through them, get gear faster because they'll be much more rewarding and then progress into the operation. So that's kind yeah. of a short term thing. We know it doesn't solve the whole problem, yeah. but um, I know like Charles. Completely. Bingo! Uh, <laughs> Stream's over. Bingo time. It's done. <laughs> Let's all move along. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure where that cut off, but yeah, like Ben, you were saying, kind of philosophically, this is just what we really want to get out there. Yeah, is. and we want to listen to the feedback legitimately and, and a step in this direction. We don't think we're solving every problem that exists. Yeah, for sure. Um, but we believe we're taking your feedback seriously and the changes on Tuesday, I think, are representative of that. Um, and we'll just do our best to keep 
um, communicating with you guys via streams, via forums, uh, and making sure we do make that long-term experience as enjoyable as it can be. Yeah, keep with that. lots of things for alts, for your main. Yeah, so keep that what. feedback coming in because we absolutely yep. are reading all of it. I'm on Reddit every single day, multiple times, maybe a little too much, but uh, <laughs> and checking my Twitter, checking the forums, everything. So it's it's really important to us to hear from y'all. So let us know. I'm seeing some nerf mercs. Uh, you know, class balance is important always. Uh, you know, often it, it it's a ben cha- plays a merc. <laughs> I used to play a Merc. I'm not playing a Merc this expansion, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, it's something that it's an ongoing challenge, you know, especially if you're talking about PvP, which often is, is what the comments are around. Um, it's really hard to take in all the factors and make a perfectly balanced game unless you make it really uninteresting. And so we're going to constantly make changes. Are we going to nerf Mercs? I don't know. That, that's up to David Demery and, and his guys to work out. Um, but you can expect combat changes as we, as we often do. All right, cool. let's... Move along. If, hey, Tate or Keith or anyone else who's watching the chat, if you see more Galactic Command questions that we didn't address, can you text me or ping me in the chat and we'll move on and if stuff comes up, we'll, we'll come back. Oh, okay. Now I'm in the right chat. Good. Cool. Okay, well, let's, let's move on, Charles, and I will read questions while you continue with the Dark yes. vs. Light event. Yes, so uh, the Dark vs. Light event, uh, is over for anyone who didn't know that. Uh, we have shipped out the rewards this last weekend. Uh, so those should be coming to you if you haven't already gotten them. Um, we also wanted to address here uh, one uh, big point uh, was the achievements uh, that were done in Dark vs. Light. Uh, they were taken away. We decided you know, that was not good. Uh, as y'all pointed out, it was not very rewarding. So we are going to be giving back the meta achievements uh, for each tier that you completed in the Dark vs. Light event. Uh, that'll be happening, I think, in January. Uh, and so we will give more details on that as we get closer to the time. Uh, but we agree that should be a, a more rewarding experience. You should have held on to it. So we're going to give them back. Uh, so that's coming in January. Cool. OK. Uh, people are asking about the Master Reynos issue, um, which I believe we resolved in next week's patch. Yep. So if you're having trouble with Reynos, look forward to Tuesday. That'll be uh, working for you again. Uh, okay. Let's move along. So, if you didn't get bingo before, you're going to now. <laughs> <laughs> free, free, free! <laughs> uh, so, we've got some really cool direct sale uh, things coming to the cartel market, some uh, really exciting items. We usually would debate this out uh, between the three of us since we have three of them. Uh, so, it's going to be uh, potentially less argumentative uh, because there's obviously only one right thing, and that is the Royal Fear Knock Mount. Uh, good old crossover from Rebels. A uh, really cool creature that appeared in a couple episodes there. Uh, now you get to ride one around, show people who's boss. It's got gold, bling. I don't know how you argue anything different. This is a slightly unfair contest <laughs> for you because I have two items in mind. So clearly left side is where the power is at for this cartel market giveaway. I think it's more that you needed to to even come close to coming up to my one. Did you notice that for people playing bingo, I didn't say the first three words <laughs> on the uh, left hand part? You're just of making it harder slide. for him. That's not fair. That's right. That's right. <laughs> bingo ain't no joke, man. That's a legit game. <laughs> All right. So because we don't have our ultimately fearless Twitch leader with us to keep us in control, uh, we thought that for this giveaway today, we would use the keyword Musco. So the way that works is uh, you put Moscow in chat, and then Tate is going to pick five, because it's our five-year anniversary, mm -hmm. five winners, random winners, and you can pick one of the three items that you see here. So we're going to give it uh, one minute worth of Moscow, and then, and then we'll shut it down. So please type in Moscow. We will also accept I miss you, Moscow, uh, <laughs> as the keywords to uh, get yourself some sweet, free uh, yeah. cartel market items. Yeah. I think while that's rolling by, uh, another good uh, community topic that's been coming up is uh, server Harbinger uh, had some issues and ended up with a rollback. Uh, we're very, very sorry for that. That was just a technical thing on our end. Uh, we're going to be working with our uh, customer experience folks to get as much stuff back for folks as we can. So if you had that issue, if you ran into anything, please submit a ticket. Let us help and try to get you everything we can mm -hmm. uh, to make that up to you because you know, very much our bad. We apologize. We're going to do what we can for you because, yeah, that sucks. Cool. Let's keep it going. All righty. Oh, oh so look at that slide. A, look at, ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that amazing <laughs> mount in the background? And what is it decorated in in such a festive season that we have coming around in Coincidentally. December? Coincidentally. 
So there are a couple of in-game events uh, happening. Uh, let's uh, stop with the Moscow action. I think we've collected enough names to give our winners out, so you guys can stop that now. Um, but in-game events coming on. So a bunch of stuff is happening right now. So we've got Life Day starting on December 13th, which is cool. Uh, similar event to we normally have. There'll be some uh, new cartel market items for direct sale available, which is cool. Uh, the spoiler to that might be that the background images may be available for you to gain access to in the game, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, we'll be celebrating our fifth anniversary um, starting December 13th. Uh, and I think, do we have another, a slide we next to talk right about up. that? Okay, Spoiler, so we'll talk about that up. in a second. <laughs> and Charles, the master of all things five-year anniversary, we'll talk about it. Uh, Rackle event is coming December 20th. We've got Bounty Contract Week and uh, Relics of the Gree. All these events happening through the holiday break so that if you guys get to have a little bit of extra time off and you want to escape to a galaxy far, far away, you guys have a lot of stuff to uh, do. So let's move on to our five-year anniversary rewards. Yeah, so as always, uh, we give out, or rather have some items available on super cheap. I think they're like one credit each except the uh, strongholds. But uh, you can find that vendor and uh, pick up some really cool stuff to celebrate our fifth anniversary. I can't, still can't believe it's been five years. <laughs> uh, so here's the stuff. Uh, kind of got some screenshots here. The uh, Senya hollow statue. Uh, this is a hollow trainer, just like uh, some of the ones we've done in the past. Uh, so you can uh, load her up, learn some valuable lessons, and uh, advance your character in the field. Uh, we've got the uh, new 50th anniversary Jawa Balloon. Uh, this one counts for the achievement, something we want to be sure we call out for uh, folks who are still hunting that one. Uh, this is a chance to, to get that Jawa and get that achievement. Uh, we've got some really cool uh, decorations coming for your strongholds. These are based on sort of the key arts uh, for each of the expansions over the last five years. Uh, so you can kind of decorate your uh, your Swotor home in Swotor art. Uh, and of course, finally, huge sale on the uh, Dromacos and uh, Coruscant strongholds. Uh, five credits each. Uh, chance to jump into uh, those strongholds, maybe use those new decorations and, uh, and check them out. Take your own uh, home away from home. All right, I, while you've been doing a great job explaining things, have been writing down questions. Here's the list of Did all you? that stuff I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I was not being diligent in my PowerPoint responsibility. Quite all right. Wow, I didn't know Moscow's job was so hard. Uh, it looks he, he so does a lot easy. around here. It just looks so And easy. there's the website at the bottom if you want to check out a little more detail on those rewards. All right, before we move on, here are some questions. Uh, so... Uh, we talked about improving command experience points for a bunch of group activities. What about solo players? Um, I think that's a really interesting question. I mm -hmm. think um, we've been mainly focused on the group stuff for now because that's where a lot of the feedback has been. Yeah. Um, I think if there are good ways to improve it for solo players, we can do so. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, the philosophy, though, though is the harder the content and the more players involved, the more command experience points you right. can get. And so I think you know the great thing we've done with this system is the end game gear is way more accessible to solo players. It's just going to take you more time yeah. than, than group players. But in the past, it's been almost impossible to get yeah, some of that yeah. content some of it was literally by playing solo, right? Yeah. Um, but I think when we do things like master mode chapters, for example, which is one of the things coming soon, mm -hmm. I think there's potential for that to be a really great command experience point reward because it is challenging content that is also solo. Yeah. Um, so we'll keep our eye on it. I think it's a good question. Um, you know, the, the changes we wanted to make initially were the things we were getting the most feedback from, which was mainly the group stuff. So we'll keep an eye on it. Um, if there are suggestions, put them in the forums of things you think make sense. But please, like, they've got to make sense in the context of the harder content that requires more people has yeah. still got to be reward more. Yeah, for sure. Um, would you guys ever consider doing, like, a double... Command experience point. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I think double at the minimum. <laughs> yeah, we, you I'm know, setting we, myself up for trouble there. Yeah, but I was yeah, going to say, think, you really, you really uh, made a mistake. But yeah, I mean, those are tons of fun, right? Like, it's a great chance to catch up. It's a great chance to uh, move through things quickly. So I think it's something we'd absolutely uh, be open to doing. Yeah. We just, to Charles's point, got to work out the timing, got to work out when it would make sense and how long is it and what's the right multiplier. But I think it's a good suggestion and, and we'll, uh, we'll keep that in our back pocket for right now. Um, the question again about buffing ops, we kind of talked about it. Like um, for right now, we're going to buff some of the other group content. Uh, and then that allows people to get some gear faster, which makes getting to ops faster, that makes them quicker and faster. Then we can see if that helps. If not, you know, we have talked as well about doing something for operations to make that risk reward feel better. Um, but that's not part of Tuesday's patch. And after Tuesday, we'll monitor yeah, it. We'll, and, and if it makes sense to make it better because it fits better with the system, 
well then Absolutely. we can make it better and there's different ways to do that and they'll be up to our designers to listen to your feedback and then make decisions on on what ways to do it mm. <sighs> i hate to do it to you man can Charles talk about companions again? <laughs> I mean, you can, I but can. why don't you give the short version because we've given the five minute version. It's like hard for me to give a short version it. because I'm so passionate okay, about we'll it. Okay, we'll do, but, the, do the passionate version but, and I'll, well, I'll no, I mean, questions. Yeah, it's a, it's a question that comes up a lot. We've answered it on the stream before, but uh, happy to do it again. You know, we really felt like with the storyline of Knights of the Eternal Throne, we wanted to address a lot of the feedback that we got from the storyline of Knights of the Fallen Empire. Uh, a lot of which was a feeling that the story felt a little dragged out, that there wasn't enough resolution of the main story thread, and part of the reason for that was because we were trying to get as many companions back as part of that story as we could, uh, because I really love the companions and I made it a priority for the team to do that, and so that's entirely on me. Uh, I feel like this year's story really worked out better, really gave that resolution, really gave that feeling of the storyline really moving forward, really advancing and, and rewarding your choices and all that great stuff. Uh, but as a result of that, we had to focus uh, our attention in one way, and unfortunately that meant no uh, returning companions as part of the Knights of the Eternal Throne storyline. Uh, does that mean we're never ever going to have any more again? Absolutely not. Uh, we're, this was not the end of story in Star Wars The Old Republic at all. We've got more updates coming, details to be announced, uh, but those will be great opportunities, I think, to start bringing more of those companions back. Don't want to talk about specific timing, don't want to talk about who exactly yet, uh, but I can't wait for y'all to hear what we've been discussing so far, because uh, I think it's some cool stuff. Question. Yes. Unrelated. Oh. Um, ben and Charles, did you see my 12 Days of Life Day parody video? What? And I... Oh, you didn't see it? No, I didn't. Okay, when I first got here this morning, the first thing I had was an email that said, watch this video, it's very <laughs> funny. And I saw the question in chat, so I'm like, yeah. So I would ask this... Uh, Tate, can you get that person's name? Let's add them to the, they get to pick a free car to market item yeah. because it was a great video. Nice. Um, okay, let's move along. I figure at this point, you run this and I'll do the <laughs> questions. I think it's going really well. We're doing good. Uh, All right, so what's coming up? Uh, first of all, as we've announced, we're going to be doing some new uprisings. Those are going to be coming in January. Uh, it's going to be five more. Uh, these are going to be really cool. They've got some, uh, using some of the new gameplay uh, elements that we introduced in Knights of the Eternal Throne, uh, doing some a little more interesting and unique uh, new stuff. Uh, so I'm really excited for you all to get to check those out. Uh, that'll be great, again, for groups and everything. Uh, then we're also going to be introducing Master Mode for Chapters. Again, Master Mode being the most difficult version uh, of the chapters, and that's all the chapters through Fallen Empire and Eternal Throne. Uh, so a chance to really test yourself and, uh, you know, potentially be the best uh, solo rewards uh, that you can get uh, as the, you know, most skilled solo uh, content available. After that, uh, we've got Master Mode Uprisings. We haven't totally nailed down the timing of that yet, February, March-ish. The goal there, though, is to get it as soon after uh, the January update as possible. We're really working, you know, we're looking at March possibly for a bigger update. Uh, that includes some other stuff that we're, again, not going to announce quite yet, yeah. uh, but we're really excited about, and I can't wait to announce it to you. Uh, just once it's nailed down a little more, we don't want to, you know, overpromise uh, yeah. anything. Yeah, and that's a great really point. Like we it. talked about, hey, if it makes more sense to roll in the master mode uprisings into a bigger update, right? So then there's maybe more we'll stuff. That. You know, let's do that. Um, and so we had talked previously as well in our stream that we'll do kind of January mid to late January, uh, we'll talk a lot more details about uh, what's yeah. coming there. Yeah, so that's still true. Uh, as soon as you know we get into January, have things really locked down, we'll give uh, more specific details. Yeah, and our plan is for there to be a focus on group content as part of that. Um, hopefully some larger group activities uh, will be part of that and we'll discuss it in January. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions about class balance. Um, so very specific questions. It's hard to just answer specifically right, like, stop our heads. oh, will assassins get force lightning back? Or hey, why can mercs heal so well? Or, or whatever the questions are. Um, we'll try to get a follow-up post um, and give you guys some guidance on when we think would be a good time to make some class adjustments. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll get back to you on that one. It's hard to address all those details on the stream without having you know David here to answer every specific question about every ability and the uh, multipliers for damage. Um, all right. Well, let's let's do the wrap up, and then I'll poke some more, find some more questions while you take us through what we just talked about. Yeah. So, first up, oh, what have you done? 
I need my cues, Ben. <laughs> Changes to the Galactic Command. We've uh, already done a few things. We're going to be doing more on Tuesday, particularly in the realm of buffing uh, some of the PvE stuff, mainly uprisings and flashpoints. Again, we're constantly looking for feedback on those areas. We're going to be looking at making more changes in the future as needed. Very open to that. Uh, again, also in the realm of having goals, having specific things, you know, feeling like things aren't all entirely random. Uh, that's all stuff we've really taken to heart and stuff that we're really looking to address uh, in the slightly longer term. Uh, but we'll announce more uh, stuff like that uh, in the coming weeks or in January as we have it finalized. Uh, upcoming in-game events, of course, Life Day being the big one. That's also our fifth anniversary. We've got Relics of the Greek coming up. Lots of great stuff happening in December uh, to, to come check out. Uh, Five-year anniversary, I got ahead of myself. Uh, that's happening here in, uh, in December. It's uh, the fifth year of SWOTOR, and we want to celebrate it with y'all. Uh, important note there, uh, the last date to submit a character headshot for that really cool montage thing that's happening uh, is this coming Sunday. So if you want to get your character headshot in there, be a part of that. Uh, be sure to get it in by Sunday. Coming in early 2017, five new uprisings, master mode chapters, slightly later on, master mode uprisings for all of those uprisings, and uh, probably uh, quite a bit more, uh, which we'll be announcing uh, as soon as we have the details. And uh, of course, uh, in the absence of our beloved Musco, uh, Tate will be posting a forum wrap-up of this stream uh, shortly after we're uh, finished. I'm promising without actually getting any input from Tate, possibly signing him up for way too much work. But he can live up to Musco, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Not even a problem. So I've been writing lots of questions um, down. I think the one we should start with is, is your washing machine fixed? <laughs> yes, my washing machine has been serviced by technical professionals who assure me that it will no longer explode. That's very good um, to hear. Since it hasn't exploded, I'm assuming that they were not lying. Ben looks important, so important, <laughs> important information for everyone to have. I'm sure that's really the question that's top of everyone's minds, but thank you for your concern. Someone just said, Ben looks so sad when he's reading chat. <laughs> that's actually my concentration face, I guess. <laughs> I don't show that to you guys very often. Show them what your real sad no, face chat, is. Chat's fine. I mean, like, you know, when people write things in all caps, I don't enjoy reading that typically, <laughs> but uh, in general, it's, it's actually fine. harder to read that quickly than it is to read things yeah, that are in text. That's my text. problem is it's so, scrolling too far. Anyway, it doesn't actually help you. Here's some more questions. So uh, RNG, like, RNG's been up here a lot, and now everyone's getting upset we didn't talk about RNG. Um, only because, like, we've talked about it for the whole eight weeks leading up to launch. Um, so we can say, you know, all the same things we said before, which is mainly, let's see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. So some topics that come up are like, hey, I got three pieces of gear, only one's an upgrade, what's up with that? Like, that's a challenging thing, because it depends where you start, right, to answer that question properly. Mm -hmm. But let's say that you you started a 65 character, played through all the chapters, and now you're getting three pieces of gear. Like, they're all going to be upgrades. Even if you get the same item, you can rip the stuff out and move it to different pieces. So I think that's a little misleading. It's hard when people say, oh, I'm in purples, and I get green gear. And even though the green gear is better, I want purples. Like, that was a philosophical change we made that was like, hey, we think purples should feel like purples again. Yeah, they should be the In that if you have purples, you're like, wow, I have purples, not like everything I have is purple. So that's a philosophical thing. The stats should be better upon them. Uh, we're monitoring data about armoring still. We haven't got a lot of feedback there about the set bonus problem. Uh, we've said before that we can be very flexible about that. If it turns out people really have set problem uh, issues, we can have outs for you. And like, we don't have the actual, like, what would we do? We've talked about 10 different ideas that you can do. And there's lots of different ways to do that. And ultimately, penning the feedback and the data we look at to understand the problem, that will inform us to implement one of those solutions. different solutions. Yeah. And so we're, we're monitoring that very closely still. Um, Charles did talk about RNG a little bit in the sense that, hey, one of the problems, one of the pieces of feedback we're getting is that it doesn't feel like there are goals. Like, you know, in the past, I might chase a specific piece of gear, right. or I might chase difficult content to complete the content, but this um, doesn't give me that same feeling that I had before. And we think that's good feedback, and that's one of the mm -hmm. things that the guys mm -hmm. have been talking about a lot this week is, all right, how can we do some stuff around that? And again, there's lots of different ways to solve that. If you guys have suggestions, let us know, and you have been letting us know. Um, but once we have a better handle on what we would want to do what we can do the time that we can do it we'll get back out here and talk to you guys so we're certainly not in um we're not ignoring rng uh, we're just trying to make sure we measure the data properly understand the feedback properly and do things that are right for the game overall um, because there is a disparity between uh, the different types of players and the things that they want 
Um, so that's RNG update for now. There'll be more coming. I think we'll be talking about uh, Galactic Command, Command Crates, Command XP Curves, rewards from Galactic Command Probably every for months to do. come. <laughs> uh, and that's great because that's yeah. the long-term progression system. That's what you guys are going to be engaged in, and we want to constantly improve it and change it over time. Um, server mergers came up. We've talked about this before. Uh, we can say it again. Um, we're going to get back to you guys in the new year. We're going to yeah. see what happens through launch. Uh, if some of the quieter servers are still quiet, uh, we will do something to bring players together, yeah. and we'll uh, work out what that something is, and we'll talk about it. Discounted transfers? We discounted transfers, yep. So you yeah. can easily move yourself, but that doesn't help people who don't, don't know about the transfers. Sure. And But yeah, we do. We did discount the transfers through so to aware, January that's, that's 13th or January 18th. Yeah. I can't remember off the top of Something my head, like that. but, but uh, there's that time option, to move but, your character. Yeah, that is one option, but we are still looking at uh, you know other possibilities like Ben mentioned. Uh, we don't see that as the ultimate solution. Uh, question on, are we going to revert the gold XP nerf? Uh, I, revert's the wrong word. Um, we're going to increase it to two command experience points uh, on Tuesday, see how that pans out. Um, we're less interested in the I want to grind mobs on Tatooine and more interested in, hey, does that help flashpoints feel better? And right. we're doing some other stuff with flashpoints. So. Right. Um, the CXP cap. Uh, so there were people who hit the CXP cap. I want to say it's maybe just one still, <laughs> maybe two. Yeah. Um, they were. Number. Yeah. So we'll monitor it again next week, you know, or this week, the cap resets. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if we need to make it higher because people are genuinely getting there by playing the game the way that we think the game should be played, then we will increase the cap. Again, it was only to be to protect us from people finding exploits. It wasn't meant to Yeah, we wanted to keep uh, the system, the make game. sure we keep, kept the system balanced for everyone. So we put in the cap. It was not intended to be something people are hitting. I wouldn't say we yeah. were surprised that someone did hit it. They, yeah. did it. they did it perfectly legitimately, so hats off. But uh, yeah. we want to we use that to keep the system in balance, keep it uh, feeling good for everyone as much as possible. Yeah, and so we wanted that. Uh, our alts are dead. Yeah, I mean, we talked about alts as well. Like, you know, we're going to do something that makes, if you've leveled a character through a bunch of Galactic Command, when you do it again, it's faster, easier, better, something um, that makes alting appealing. For sure, we'll do something there. Uh, drop rates. Um, the, I think the question was, will you increase the chance of drop rates for purple items and crates? Um, we could. Uh, we just, again, we'll monitor that data. Yeah, that kind of comes into the overall RNG thing, right. right? It's like, is that the best solution? Is there some other way that makes it feel better overall that doesn't? where we don't adjust that, but we make some other kind of out, you know, who knows? We don't want to, I don't want to sit here and theorize a bunch of crazy stuff. Let's, uh, we'll actually get down to the real data and make a real solution. And as soon as we have that, let it out, you know, put it out to y'all and uh, hear what y'all think. Uh, I got a question about Dark vs. Light achievements. We did cover it earlier, but do you want to just give the oh, uh, yeah. short so, version? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to give uh, give the meta achievements for the tiers of Dark vs. Light that y'all completed. We'll be giving those back, uh, putting them back on all your characters. Uh, that'll be happening in the January uh, patch. Uh, people are saying, what is a concern with hitting the cap? It, if you play the game normally, we don't want you to hit the cap. It should be that high. The concern is if someone finds an exploit and gets too high too fast, it can just ruin it for everyone because they're too far ahead. And so we're just protecting against that. Um, it, if the cap is a problem, we'll just make it higher or remove it. We'll fix it. Yeah. Just. Bear it, with us the first couple of weeks. It is not weeks. meant to be an artificial limiter right. of any kind. And like, if everyone's out there like, I'm hitting the cap, guess what, you're not. Only a couple of people are. So <laughs> like, this is just not, a, not an issue right now. Um, and if it is, we'll certainly fix it. Um, uh, the cap resets on Tuesdays, because that was a question. Um, someone said, RNG can't be balanced. That's by the definition of RNG, is that it's you know, not balanced, you roll a dice, different things happen. Yeah, that's right. That's the excitement of RNG, right? That's the excitement of the chase. Uh, when we talk about balancing things like um, command experience points and galactic so, command, we're talking about it being fair and equitable for different activities and the effort that you put into things. Now, yeah. yes, you're going to have that friend who opened 14 boxes and got 14 legendary items. Congratulations for that one person, <laughs> right? Um, but we think, you know, that's again part of monitoring it. You know, if there are gaping problems and gaping holes or lots of people who got unlucky, and we and we think that for the benefit of the game overall, we need to make adjustments. You know, we'll make adjustments. I, I think that's fine, and we'll just work with you guys to do that over time. Yeah. 
Um, increasing the gold XP to two is completely missing the point. Heroics need to reward a lot more if you're not buffing them. Yeah, we can monitor that. I mean, I think if we want heroics to reward more, I don't think the answer is it's making it's golds worth more. Yeah, we it's... can just make the quest give you a lot more. Yeah. And so I think we want people to play the activities of the game um, and have fun doing so. And mm. so we will uh, take a look, continue to monitor that just like everything else. And if we need heroics to give more CXP because that makes sense, then we will make heroics give more CXP. Yeah. Um... Server merge question a couple times. I kind of talked about that, but we're just going to monitor it come uh, January so we can give an update either January or February. Um, you know, if we need to bring people together, we'll bring people together so we can work that out. Um, oh, I feel like, okay. Uh, oh, any comments about stacking CXP boosts? Uh, it's not intended. Uh, it shouldn't work that way. Um, don't do it because it's not good for you. Like uh, it's a waste of your you, money. It doesn't yeah, actually work to that be well. Clear, like <laughs> if you work out how to do it, if you transition areas, you lose the buff, and then you've kind of wasted a thing. So like we're gonna fix it. Uh, I think on Tuesday. But like it's not like <laughs> it's it's not something that you should do because it's not good for you. Um, because you're not making the best use of the things that you bought. Yeah, so I gonna... wouldn't do that. We're gonna fix it. Uh, we're not considering it an exploit. I just think it's silly for you guys to do it because it's not a good way for you to, your to, money. to spend your cartel coins. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we're going to fix it on, on Tuesday, uh, which was as soon as we could uh, get that into a build and get it out live. Um, is there any chance we could unbind the armorings from stuff? Uh, that, that's back to the same question of, hey, that really centers around set bonus items and they're really unlucky people from RNG. Yeah, that's what we talked about. If, and and there's, again, there's lots of ways to solve it. We could unbind armorings, we could add a vendor, we could add a perk, we could add a this or a that. Like there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, but if it turns out that people getting armorings to complete set bonuses is a big problem, then we'll do something that fixes that, you know, whatever that may be. Again, we have to look at what the specific problem is we're trying to solve, and then the designers will come up with a way that, that we believe solves it, and we'll work with you guys on what that could be. Yep. Um, any comment? Oh, probably shouldn't read that question. Uh, <laughs> it was, any comments on making like an Old Republic movie or series or whatever? Uh, that's completely I don't not think up to we us. have a comment on yeah. that. Uh, yeah, that's entirely up to Lucasfilm and Disney. Yeah. It has nothing to do with us. Uh, so that petition's cool though. Yeah, we sign. we are very flattered that people would be interested in that. Can we have a cantina in Australia? <laughs> yes, we have found the Confirmed. audience. We have found the audience <laughs> plant that Ben put out there. It's actually my mom. Hi, mom. It's good to hear from you. I'm glad you're tuning into the stream. Uh, uh, I would love to. Obviously, I'm from Australia. I'd love to go there. Uh, probably not, honestly. Um, it's just just a bit too far away and a, a bit too challenging, but. Um, if I go back to Australia, maybe I'll just host. Yeah, just just go I'll to just a, like go to a bar and, and say, if you want to come here, let's let's hang out. So and, that was have a couple of that was a question I saw about uh, the uh, Pack South. Uh, whether we do something there, I don't think we have anything official planned to announce yet. But I'm going to be there, so maybe I'll just go somewhere and hang out, and y'all can come uh, ask me questions in person. And we'll uh, do something unofficial. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, okay, I think we've run ten minutes over. I mean. I th not that I want to self high five, but I want to. <laughs> I, I, we tried really hard to answer questions here. Uh, I'm sure we missed some questions. I'm sorry if we did. Um, we really did try to, to answer all the ones that were there. That there's no dodging intended. Um, if we did miss your question, uh, please post to the forums, and we'll do our best to get to it and follow up with it. Um, but on that note, unless I see anything in the next two seconds. Uh, we haven't lived until we party with Australians. So that happy. seems fair. <laughs> I've partied with I, Ben just a little bit, and it does. We uh, have it a little bit. It was, it was an experience. I can't imagine having a whole nation of them. Um, okay, cool. Well, again, thanks, guys, for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, really appreciate uh, We're going to be back in. next Thursday from the stream. I look at Tate slightly over the screen. Do you remember? Next Thursday. Next Thursday? If only we had we'll Musco here. I know. <laughs> Things have really fallen off the retina. Uh, so we'll be back here next Thursday for a stream. Um, and if we don't get to your questions before then, bring them again, and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for sharing your thoughts, sharing your feedback, positive or negative. We want to hear it all. So thanks again for coming and, and bringing it to us. And in the off chance you're in this stream and you have not seen the launch trailer, here it is.
Thanks, guys. Yeah. See y'all later. I have seen the galaxy ablaze. Witness to atrocities, accomplice to cruelties. For all these sins, I have sought forgiveness. For all but two. Arkin, my only remaining son. Valen, taken from me as a child. They are my future. You never wanted the throne. They are my legacy. Return it to me. We will destroy the Outlander and Father together. You feared what I would become. And you were right. You must seize the throne, Outlander. It is the only way. There's only one way to end this chaos and bring order to the galaxy. I will not abandon them to the dark.